Alrighty guys, welcome back to the GMG Truck Shop series. And so I've got myself, my Ford, hooked up to my trailer, which by the way I'm probably going to end up uh, selling this trailer here pretty soon. Luckily got everything uh, moved over to the house and whatnot, so we're all good on that. But today we're going to pick up some new tools for the truck shop. So let's go ahead and get in, and we're going to drive on over... Uh, to Clever Motors. They got a bunch of cool parts and stuff and sometimes some uh, cars for sale as well And we're gonna go see uh, what I have ordered should be pretty cool. I think Alrighty guys, so let's get on the road here So uh, we also got the uh, GMC Suburban we got to work on so that thing uh, we got new bumpers ordered and stuff, so we got to get that all put together. So that's going to be pretty neat. Plus, also get a new uh, coat of paint on that as well. So quite a bit to do on that score. So luckily, uh, the shop isn't too far over, which is nice. Pull on out here and get up to the stop sign. Turn on our light. And nobody coming. Very nice. Go ahead and pull on out. So yeah, so saw this really cool deal, and uh, definitely figured that uh, we could use some at the shop for sure. So we'll go ahead and go pick these up here. I think they're going to be end up being around back. So let's give it a check. We'll pull on over here, and we'll see what we got. Got an Elm Creek uh, Chef one of them too. That's interesting. Alrighty guys, so what we got here is we got ourselves an engine stand, we got ourselves an engine hoist by uh, Mafia Mod Tools, so definitely pretty cool there. So we got ourselves also some 5 ton jacks, and we also got some toolboxes for the shop as well. So let me go ahead and get the uh, trailer opened up here. There we go. Yep, these things are pretty noisy, that's for sure. I forgot about how noisy these things usually are, but they're going to be a bit on the noisy side. Just roll them on up inside here, all the way to the front. There we go. Yeah, so these cost about uh, 500 bucks to get the whole set, which is really, really nice. Very nice deal. Plus, also, we got the uh, tool chest and everything and those are all very very nicely uh, furnished and everything with the tools that we need so definitely liking that get this on up here there we go and I just got to get the toolboxes in but uh, yeah we were kind of light on the tools for the most part so getting these in the shop fully furnished all the tools that we need definitely gonna be there because that sheriff again interesting not sure what's going on with that but uh, anyways let's see if we can lift this thing up and in there we go and we should be able to get everything nice and strapped down in there as well hopefully it don't look like I'm stealing something here <laughs> in a tote I told, uh, told Jeff I was coming over to pick the stuff up. It, it, this gets to look pretty weird there. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, can't do too much about that, unfortunately. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But anyways, we'll head down to the shop here. Got all that strapped up, and it should work pretty good at the shop, I'm thinking. Because it'll just definitely be nice just to be able to be able to jack stuff up real quick like... So should be pretty pretty good. So let's head on down to the shop and uh, see what we got going on there other than the uh, Suburban. So anyways guys, this Suburban should be pretty cool, that's for sure. And I think uh, I hear a siren, but I pull off the road here. Yep, yep, it's me. Let me guess. The tools. Yeah, you can. Uh, if you want, you can talk to Jeff. He's the owner over there. Uh, yeah, I did not. I did not steal the tools. Nope. Yep. Already paid for them. Got the receipt right here. Yep. Okay. 
Yeah, I know. Like I, I saw you circling and I was kind of afraid it was looking a little bit weird. Alrighty. Yep, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll try to look a little less suspicious next time. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, guys. So, yep, it just ended up... He didn't like what he saw there with... Uh, me uh, putting tools into my uh, trailer that early in the morning. He just didn't like what he saw there. And I wanted to make sure that... Uh, we went stealing the tools, and luckily, luckily I had the texts and stuff from Jeff, and I also gave him Jeff's number as well in case he wanted to double check that. But I think we're good. But uh, yeah, it did look a little bit suspicious there. Honestly, just first thing in the morning, and I'm putting tools, heavy-duty tools, into the back of my trailer in the morning. That yeah, that that does look a little bit weird. I get that. So, anyways, pretty nice officer. So. Uh, hopefully uh, we don't have too many issues there again. Reminded me not to speed or anything, so we're trying to make sure we're underneath the speed limit and stuff. So, alrighty, well let's uh, get pulled in here and we'll start unloading the tools and uh, put them into the shop here. Let me pull over so I'm lined up with the gate to some extent, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, try not to look suspicious in the morning. That was kind of figured that was what it was, but. Yeah, just one of those weird things that uh, you don't think about, so. Alrighty, let's get back on with our day here. We're going to get these things all unloaded and get like they are noisy. Good night, I forgot about how noisy these things are, but they are nice to have just in case. That's for sure, so. Got the toolboxes in. So that's going to be nice. We're going to work on that GMC here in just a second. Alrighty, guys. So we got all the tools and stuff in here and whatnot. So uh, let's get to work on that GMC. Actually, here, let me check uh, Craigslist real quick. And there ain't nothing on the uh, sale, unfortunately. So, alrighty. Let's hop on into the GMC and see what we can do here. Alrighty, so here we go, working on the GMC, so currently we get the uh, 6.2 liter V8, now we can go and upgrade the engine, uh, and uh, put a brand new one in, that should get us a little bit more power, be nice, clean, and ready to go, so I think that's what we're ultimately going to do, that's going to cost about $2,000 to grab that, plus also we're going to have to pay shipping too, so that's one thing we got to look at, also we got the bumpers in, to get the uh, stock bumpers that were supposed to be on that thing, uh, that cost us about twelve hundred dollars, so you're gonna see that in a bit. Uh, to install to get the parts to install was about five hundred, so not too bad. We got the front license plate, front bumper. Uh, we got the bug guard we could put in, but I think that seems like that's a worthless uh, investment. Uh, we could do some off-roading with the bull bar and the lights, which I do kind of like. But that's going to depend on what color I end up doing on this. So let me see. Uh, rim options. Uh, we're going to try and keep them stock rims, but we do have some colors we can do. We can do some grays, we can do some blacks, or we could also do some uh, darker shades here. Let me see. That looks like rust. There we go, some dark blues. Honestly, I, would, I think we're going to just go with ooh, silver aluminum. So that's chrome right there, then this is silver aluminum. I think we'll go with that. Alright, so uh, on the exterior colors, I think what we're going to end up doing is uh, we got some red, red candy. That's a wrap color that we can do, and I'm not digging it there, as you can see. That that just does not look that good whereas the flat tone on it looks much much better uh, we can do scarlet red which that looks very 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 nice on it uh, we can do gunmetal which is currently what's on it at the moment we can do some blaze orange some nitro blue uh, got some deer green that looks pretty good deep blue that looks nice uh, I think we got some deer yellow charcoal Got quite a few colors to choose from up here. Liking that. Not liking the wrap options though. Those are not what I'm really digging. Then we got some orange metallic. That looks really, really good. Let me see what we can do on the two tone with that. 
There's some white. You can do the new silver, which I'm not overly digging. Uh, Gunmetal, obviously that's what's on there. Some deep blue. Uh, just going with a black. That's what that looks like. Doesn't look terrible, but once again, not digging it. Uh, let's see here. Black metallic. That actually looks pretty sharp there. The I think the other black option, that gave it more of a black gloss. Yeah, that's a black gloss, but this is a, the metallic finish. That looks much cleaner. I like that a whole bunch. Uh, interior, we can actually get some custom interior made. That's going to be pricey. But uh, I think that's going to be worth it if we want to really get some nice luxury interior in there and make this a nice off-roading uh, 1989 special. So I definitely want to do that. So let's see here. Uh, we can do the same orange. Or we can do with the uh, burnt orange inside. Let's see here. Husqvarna orange matte. There we go. That's what we're looking at. Exterior color, of course, is the... Uh, do the black linex interior there or we could also uh, switch it up and go with some brown interior which eh, I don't like that that looks actually really cool that looks like some nice cream sickle, sickle interior there that's pretty nice uh, I think what we need to do here is let's switch this to whatever go with the dark gray interior there and then our secondary color we can do orange matte there's that right there that's a Husqvarna orange interior that's the burnt orange and then this is the blaze orange and that looks pretty good in there we could also go with uh, just the black in there and that also looks pretty good honestly I think so if we did that lighten up the interior gray just a tad I kind of dig that to some extent it just kind of matches the exterior with the chrome accents just I kinda of like how it's matching that and you don't have necessarily as harsh of a color of, as orange as soon as you step into the interior let me see here I think I like that let's see is there like a I don't think there's really a, like a darker orange as that, but it just doesn't match. Maybe a lighter black then. Let's see. I'm thinking we go with that right there. That looks pretty good on the interior wise. Alrighty, we're going to get that uh, put together here today, and uh, we'll bring it back when we're finished, but I think the end of product should look pretty good. We'll also test out the suspension and see how it does on the off-road course. I don't think it's going to be that stupendous. We are going to replace the shocks and all that, but we're going to try and keep it mostly stock. Obviously, we're going to replace the brakes and everything, but I think this thing uh, is going to look pretty good once we're done with it, so let's get it done. Alrighty guys, everything said and done, and we spent approximately about $12,000 on this build. We ended up only paying uh, $500 to get the truck itself, so upgraded the engine, that was $1,000 by itself. We had to uh, pay the shipping costs, which that ended up being about $800. Uh, to do all the suspension parts, that was another $1,000, plus the brakes, that was about $600. Uh, the interior by itself cost about, uh, I think the install was just 2000 to actually get it ordered. Uh, that was something else. So I definitely like how it looks. So let's uh, roll it outside and see how it looks uh, on the uh, off-road course. That would be pretty cool. All right, backing it out. And I do like the interior in here. It looks very, very cool. So I do like that. Engine sounds much better. So it still has that uh, same uh, startup. So apparently that's just something that is uh, ingrained in the system. Did have Hank take a look at that and uh, he can't quite uh, get that turned off. But uh, I think we'll just leave it since it seems like it came stopped that way. But listen to that. 
over the old diesel engine that sounds much better so let's see how this thing drives I'm gonna go ahead and get the new paint kind of dirty here I think we'll skip the mud pit on it though so let's see how this thing handles some rocks we'll try and take it a little bit on the easier side definitely a bit on the uh, yeah, I don't think this is a true rock climber. It may want to be, but I don't think it's going to end up being that good. Too long of a wheelbase as we scrape it just a little bit. Definitely skip this part. The handle's pretty good, though. It has a pretty nice grippy suspension, all things considered. A little bit of mud there. Not too bad. Has some good get up and go as we slowly come over the rocks. There we go. Pretty nice, all things considered. We'll see how it does going up this little hill here. This is good. Doesn't have a whole lot of. Uh, high speed, but it definitely seems like it has some pretty good uh, grip torque. It has some pretty good torque, so I like that. Handling's not bad either. Alright, like that. So we'll roll it out here, stop it right there, and uh, just look at that already messy. Get this cleaned off again here. Yeah, so custom interior, we also, uh, hop in here. We also have the, uh, old radio still in there. I think we put in a CD player. But yeah, this thing is nice. And also with the new interior, it's a lot quieter inside as well. So that definitely makes it a lot nicer. Take it for a little spin around the block. And I'll also tell you about something that we're going to be doing. Uh, so we got this end piece of the property. We're going to end up uh, selling that. And uh, going to have a business in there at some point more than likely. Right off the interstate. So we're going to get a pretty good amount of cash for that right there. We still have uh, the rights to a very good amount of the property. I'll show you that here in just a second. Yeah, this thing can get up and go. I like it. All right, we'll spin around here and head on back. But yeah, I'm liking this thing. A little bit on the slow on the acceleration, but once it goes, it, it can go pretty good. So I mean, it's nice. The seat is very comfy too. Definitely like the uh, choice we went on that. Go ahead and turn it here, but. I like it. It's somewhat capable off-road. I'm not going to say that it's a good off-road vehicle, but it's somewhat, somewhat capable to go off-road. The wheelbase isn't the best just because of how long it is, but it's, it's not bad. So we'll just park it over here with its uh, GMC sibling here, backed up just a tad, and. Uh, Hold it forward here. So, older classic truck. Seems like these particular body styles do seem to be coming back in popularity to some extent for uh, the collectors anyways. So, uh, we'll put this up probably ultimately at about... Uh, going to try and get 30 out of it, I think. But uh, we'll obviously see how the market goes. For sure, I've got to get... To make it worth it, about 22000 out of it, ultimately, just to actually make some profit. Because, obviously, got to pay for electricity and all that supplies. And uh, also the tools that I just bought, because those, those were not cheap. <laughs> $500. Yeah, so uh, let's see here. So $500 for that. We spent over $12,000 on the upgrades on this. Plus also the $1,000, uh, no, what was it? $300 that we ultimately paid to get it. So, it's just one of those things where you just, you have to be able to 
and be making a good enough profit so you can go and buy another truck. So that's how that works. So, but anyways, so uh, let me show you the property that we got over here. Obviously, we put in the uh, barrier trees that we had to put in uh, for a little test track here. So obviously, got more barrier. Uh, back behind that business right there that's mostly just storage but still we had to do that anyways so put in some more trees uh, along this border here and then uh, along that border and then obviously got the divider fence to show where the track is and where it isn't so just got that so ultimately uh, where our landmark is for where our property ends is right at the edge of this fence right about there so this is where our property ends so running back this way how we got it split up is all of this this pitch right here is all mine still so that's gonna still be mine but then over here uh, this property basically from that line and somewhat from where the trees kinda of poke out some we obviously gotta have like a little bit of an easement there as well uh, this we're gonna end up uh, putting up for sale actually it's already up for sale but uh, hopefully sell that to a business at some point kind of recoup some moolah that we spent on the shop initially but also a uh, really good place for uh, some interstate business or whatnot to uh, come in so that'll be interesting to see uh, what they end up who ends up buying it and what ends up being put up so that'll be interesting anyways guys that's gonna be it for today obviously got some brand new tools for the shop those are gonna be nice to uh, work on trucks and uh, anything else that we might uh, bring to the shops so that would be pretty cool and then also got a brand new GMC build done with the Suburban there and it uh, looks pretty nice I must say but luckily we do have somebody looking at the Silverado and talking to us so hopefully have that thing out of here soon and recoup some uh, money that we spent on that but uh, yeah We'll see what we end up sending in the future. And always remember that uh, you don't want to look suspicious early in the morning when you're loading up a trailer with the tools you just bought. Uh, that's not a good thing to do. So, anyways, we'll see you guys here next time on the GMG Truck Shop. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And we'll see you guys here next time with another video.